Well, happy Christmas, season's greetings. I hope you've had a wonderful day. You may be full of Christmas dinner or you may be about to be full of Christmas dinner. Either which way, I hope the day is going well for you. And if you are on your own, then hey, who knows? I might, have put, might be putting a stream later for those who are on their own and just want to talk to. If not, then do reach out any which way. If you don't want to watch that or is there isn't one, do reach out and uh, contact someone. There'll be someone that wants to talk to you. Okay, don't be alone. So here we have a special aircraft for a special day. This is the Edward Limited Edition 148 scale Gloucester Gladiator, as you can see. No particular version because there's several different versions included. Really nice box art here. Beautiful painting of the aircraft in flight. Great thing about the gladiators, there's no wheels to do work, so if you want to do this in flight, it's very easy to do. Just build it. Um, Tower Bridge, a bit of an interesting choice there. Not sure. Yeah, okay, it's British, but you know, a scene of. Uh, you've got London again here. London actually more around the First World War than the Second World War there. I'm not sure if this is London, but it'd be nice to have a scene of Malta or something as well. Be seeing as the Gladiator did serve there with some distinction. Right. So opening it up. Now, panic not, I believe they are for finish aircraft. But we shall see. Here's the instruction sheet. So there's the if you want to pause that and read that. You can, so I'm going to take this out of the way. I believe this is the Roden Gloucester Gladiator kit, and we can look at this properly. So, there's your parts diagram you get photo etch with pre cut, pre painted parts, you get a masking set straight out of the box. Fantastic, these special editions they cost, but they are brilliant for the stuff they come with. So, there's your instrument panel going in, building the cockpit area, lots of photo etch going the inside there. Surely in plastic parts you'd only use the photo edge. Machine guns, last aircraft, British British aircraft to have last of the bike day fighters and last one to have machine guns accessible by the pilot in the cockpit for the Royal Air Force. Um or the British forces really because they got the, the Sea Gladiator as well. Showing them in the masking goes. More photo etch to go on the engine, quite a detailed Mercury engine, Bristol Mercury engine there. 700 to power the Lysander and the Bristol Blenheim, amongst other aircraft. Assembling those wings. Looks fairly straightforward, doesn't it, really? <laughs> You're going to want to take your time with those. Make sure you get these nice and dead straight on the, or angled correctly on the aircraft first. Leave them to fully dry and then attempt the add again. Make yourself a jig or something, or maybe there's a jig existing for it. Then you can, you get let things dry before you try and attach it all together at once. Okay, so um, tail hook if you want to build a sea gladiator, you've got wheels or skis, you put your choice onto it. There's a tail hook going on. Okay, Two choices of propeller. This propeller is actually the same as what would be on the fairy swordfish. Oh, sorry, I just realised the. There we are. Same as what the one would be on the fairy swordfish. There's your rigging diagrams for the ground and, well, the ski fitted one and the wheel fitted one. And on to the paint schemes. So, we have Gladiator Mark II, our 9044 of number 3 Squadron RAF Marubia in Libya 1941. That'll be our box art one. It's even more weird, it's got a picture of London in the background. Uh, the next one is a Gloucester Gladiator. You might be able to pause and read those, depending on what size screen you're using. Um, Mark 1 J8, as they called it. 278 Fliegflotschi. Oh, I can't, sorry, I can't pronounce that. Squadron, probably. N Squadron 19. Um, Finland, March 1940. It says that the swastikas were overpainted with the winter. 
and to Oh, so they were loaning from Sweden. They were JX loaning from Sweden. That's right. The Finnish swastikas were opened after the ceasefire agreement in 1940. Prior to the return back to Finland, they got custom markings on them. Gladiator Mark 1 of number 123 Fight Squadron. Uh, Spilv, Latvia. I said that right. So Latvia ordered 26 gladiators. Very colourful scheme in that big bright blue tail and blue wheel hubs. Interesting, no you should see her in Latvian aircraft, very interesting. Gladiator Mark 1, K7985, number 73 Squadron, RF Church Fenton, England, September 1937. One of my least favourite uh, ways the Gladiator propeller ever appeared without the spinner on the front, it just looks ugly. It's really unfinished and ugly that does. The same with this one here. The <laughs> Gladiator Mark 1 K7974, number 87 squadron, based at Shoreham in England, 1938. I believe Airfix did that scheme. It's on the popper and the tail. Gladiator Mark 1 of the uh, first squadron of the first group, 2nd Regiment Aero 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 See, they put the spinner back. It just looks so much nicer. It's quite a nice scheme, that one, overall. The yeah, FX one does come with this as well. Right. Gladiator Mark II, 615 Squadron, County of Suffy, Surrey, sorry, Merville, France, so part of the BEF um, force. And oh, there's a patch there that's gone on. It's interesting, it's been in combat already. But yes, quite a nice scheme. Different, different browns and greens going on. The standard brown and green. You've got middle stone as well as uh, the dark earth and dark green. And the black and white identification stripes underneath. And a Sea Gladiator Mark II N5517 of 8103 Naval Air Squadron based on HMS Eagle in July of 1940. A bit of a fleet air on theme, haven't we? The last couple of videos. Um, now, this is the Gladiator as I'm going to build it, but it's not this one. Because, like I say... Gladiators were based on water. Um, there's your stance in positions. That, so, yeah. Do you know, I didn't see the one with the swastikas on it. Ah, so they had this, this the swastikas are underneath these. It's not grey marking as they had red swastikas. So that'd be where they're from for the Latvian scheme. Right. So the kit okay. comes in one big bag. So first off, here's our photo etch. Love the fact it's all pre coloured and everything. It's going to look absolutely cracking if I actually get that inside the aircraft. I'll do my best. And there's our pre cut uh, masking. The kit safe seems to be one big bag, the canopy is in a separate. And there's the gladiator, Completely enormous aircraft. Don't worry about the light going out. But, uh, yes, now I think I have another boxing of this gladiator. I think I have the, the Rodan one, which actually comes with the markings for Faith, Hope and Charity. The three famous Maltese gladiators, well, Maltese based gladiators that defended against the combined uh, Luftwaffe and Regia Aeronautica. Um, and I'll be using those markings to create these two or to create all three of them. Um, right, so apologies if you don't like swastikas, unfortunately I can't help they're on this sheet. I could hold it a bit further down but you've already seen them anyway. So there they are if you want to use them for the Latvian ones. But there's plenty of other nice schemes if you want to do it. And 
I'm sure you could come to some sort of arrangement if you didn't want to do the Latvian one. It's unfortunate. Plenty, plenty of nice schemes though. They look very nice and they're going to be good quality of the red one. Edward transfers I do like quite a lot. Right, I'm going to put these on the bottom, I think. But yes, so that has been, it's a bit of a shame for a Christmas one, isn't it? I mean, it's not because of the video. But that has been a look at the um, Plaster Gladiator by Edward. There's your propeller and the tail hook I spotted a minute ago. Yeah, there. So that's the extra of the Sea Gladiator there. Um, yeah, I think quite a quite a nice set. Would be nice to maybe see a few more, an, an, another couple of Royal Navy ones. Maybe no offence, maybe leave the one out with swastikas on it, eh? shall we? But uh, hey ho! Thanks for watching. Take care, stay safe, and be well. And I'll see you in the new year. Bye.